Alright guys, got two nice Missouri River paddlefish. I did not know I could even get paddlefish out on the Missouri River in Missouri. So this is new to me, but two great fish. We're going to go ahead and play them up. Got my limit. They just have to be 24 inches from eye to fork of the tail. Definitely over that by quite a bit. And we will fillet these guys and we're going to have some great eating tonight. And you caught them on this little John boat right here beside me. So you don't need a whole lot to get going, but we'll go ahead and play these guys. And as always, best of luck fishing. Wow. All right, guys, we just hooked into another one and the drag just started spewing. We're trying to get back some of that drag. Might have to get and tighten the drag a little bit. But I'm hoping she's gonna get right into this other line. All right, guys, we got a giant, an absolute giant paddlefish. Oh man, that is awesome. Getting a good arm workout in today. Oh man, there goes the drag. Holy crap. That is a beast. Work your way to the front a little bit. Because the problem is there's a bunch of logs out there, so we need to keep them over here if we can. Yeah, if you can bring them in on this side of the boat, just keep that line really tight. There you go. Holy crap, that is a giant, absolute giant paddlefish. Oh yeah, we gotta keep him out of those. It's a delicate balance because if we tighten the drag anymore, he could break off. Yeah, this. Oh man, let's hope he doesn't get into those logs. That's our only worry right now. Chickens, if you can, try to get in the front of him towards his bill. So if he swims, he goes into the net. So if you just hit him by the tail, and this is gonna be hard, I might have to grab him. So I'm gonna have to turn off the camera here, guys, and. You can see the tail. I'm going to try to grab him because he might not even fit in this net. Hopefully the GoPro's going. Alright guys. Holy moly. One second. All right, it's on, it's on, it's on. All right, guys, we just hooked into something massive. I just, it almost spooled me there for a second. I have 65 pound braid. Oh, man. Considering how hard it ran right off the bat, I feel like it's not a paddle fish. It's probably going to be a big old carp. It's staying pretty deep. It's not coming to the surface very quick. Oh, man. It got itself closer into that current. Got to keep tension on it so that trouble doesn't pop out. Now it's coming back. I just hope it doesn't make any more runs out into that current. Once it gets out of that current, it comes. Oh, it's a paddlefish. Bro. Oh, here it is. 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 We got him. We got our first paddlefish. Hallelujah. <laughs> All right. Look at this guy. Whew. Popped right out. Good thing we got him in. Dang. Let's hold him up. Guys, look at this. Nice old paddlefish. They eat that plankton. Cut him right here at the gorge. Beautiful looking fish. He's really scarred up. He's taking some damage out here on the river at Harsh Life. That is a beautiful, beautiful fish. We'll get a measurement on him and uh, get back to you guys. We just got fish number two. I snagged him right at the boat. I almost thought I actually snagged the one already on the stringer. This guy went berserk, tangled himself in the line, just started mass spinning. You look at the line, how many times it wrapped around his bill. This one's a little bigger than the last one, but this is a nice paddlefish, guys. And this is all free on this little John boat out here on the Missouri River. And man, we nailed another one that was not coming out in the bill. It was a 65 pound braid. Beautiful, beautiful fish. This is a good, oh, 25, 30 pounds. I'll get him untangled here and hold you up for a picture. But we're having a great day out here, guys. Stay tuned for more. What? No guys, one. oh, we just had an Asian carp on. The no. second I bit into these sardines right here, we had almost a double hookup. Shane, you... All right, I just went on the shore to put out the catfishing poles and took the net with me because the carp that I was going to cut them up was in it. Oh, yeah, they snagged a nice paddlefish. Fortunately, they don't have the net since I have it on the shore. <laughs> Kenzie's gonna grab its tail here. <laughs> this will be kind of interesting. There's the Missouri River. It's 
a nice one. You can grab it either by the tail or the bill. All right, now pull it into the boat. Oh, that's a tag. You get a free t-shirt with the tags. <laughs> All right, that's a nice one. Oh, it's trying to take me out into Missouri. Oh shoot, if it gets out to that current of the river, it's gonna get really rough. Oh no! Oh wait, wait, no, 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 it's just swimming towards the boat. Okay, it's swimming towards the boat. Oh man, don't break my... Oh man. It's taking some drag out. Can you start undoing the... Uh, undo the boat line. He's gonna spool me. here pretty soon. It's coming towards us. No! Wait, wait, turn the motor off for a second. I think he got off. All right, so we have the paddlefish coming off the skewers. This is one of the best ways to increase that seasoning and spice ratio to meat ratio. Asian carp still on there. Looks beautiful, Tony. Oh, I'm gonna try a little bit right here. Yeah, dude. Ooh. Mm. I was, it's like literally the pork of the freshwater lake. So delicious. Mmm. Just pure white meat. Can't beat that. Alright guys, so we went ahead, we fried some of the paddlefish, we grilled some of the paddlefish. We have one of the best ways to cook paddlefish, in my opinion, is get some of these skewers. Cut it into cubes like this, put a bunch of seasoning on it that could be Cajun. And then that maximizes the season ratio. Cook it and uh, just till the meat flakes and it literally tastes like pork. And the fried is just as good. No put as much seasoning on the fried, but still delicious. You can see it flakes really easy. We just had some out on the grill, absolutely delicious. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and as always, best of luck fishing.